May Preparation This month's scripture The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm 19. Preparation for this month. When preparing for the month ahead, think about the following. God's power and love transcends all boundaries and reaches to the ends of the earth. Food for thought. This month's psalm declares the majesty and glory of God through the wonders of his creation. The heavens, the sky, and the sun are all evidence of God's handiwork, and they proclaim his power and might. In difficult times of loss or any kind of struggle, we can use these verses as a reminder of God's authority and sovereignty over all. Despite our circumstances, God is still in control, and we can trust in Him to see us through. This month's scripture emphasizes that the beauty of creation speaks to everyone, regardless of language or culture. The message of God's power and love transcends all boundaries and reaches to the ends of the earth. As children of God, we are all connected, and we should love and care for one another. As we go through the month ahead, we can apply this scripture by taking time to appreciate the beauty of God's creation around us, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. We can be intentional about showing love, care, and compassion for those around us who may be struggling. We don't have to have the answers, but we can be a comforting ear. As you go through the month of May, remember you are not alone. God's love and power are greater than any challenge you will face. He has a plan for your life. He has already accounted for the struggles, the storms, hardships, and the heartache you will face on your journey. He won't take away our freedom to choose, but when you choose to seek Him, you are able to see the full beauty of His creation and blessing in your life. This month's goals. Take time to reflect on the past few months. What victories have you had? Take time to celebrate those with your Heavenly Father. As you prepare, the month or two ahead, take into consideration carving out dedicated time each week to connect with friends and loved ones through phone calls or in-person visits to cultivate the relationships in your life. Acts of kindness, such as offering a kind word, holding the door for someone, smiling at someone, or volunteering to help someone in need. These acts of kindness can not only make a difference in your life, but also in theirs. Take a moment to check in on What you have allowed to influence and shape your life in the last month or two is whatever it is bringing you closer to god or does it distract you from your purpose consider social media tv your favorite phone game friends work and family if it is distracting you ask god to use it or remove it 